This is the real Tom Rose, and we're trying to calculate the area of a rectangle. Now, a rectangle has a width and a length, and the area is equal to length times width. Now, this problem can be boiled down into a common format, which is we've been given some information and we've asked to find some information. We've been given that the length of the table is 11 feet. So I'm going to fill that in on our drawing as well. And we've been asked to find the area. We've also been given one other piece of information, which is the length of the table is four feet more than the width. So let's make an equation equating the length and the width. Now we need to change this a little bit because we need to keep track of that four. And the way that I figure out which side the four goes on is I like to keep track of the big side and the small side of this equation. So we know the length is four feet more than the width. So the length is the big side, the width is the small side. So if I'm going to add 4 to one side or the other, I should probably add 4 to the small side. That way both sides of the equation equal one another. Well, now we have an equation with two variables, but I know that the length is 11 feet, so I can go ahead and plug in. So what I end up with is 11 equals w plus 4, which we can now use standard tools of algebra to solve subtract 4 from both sides, and we end up with 7 equals w. Now we can plug in 7 and 11 to our area formula to show that area equals 7 times 11, or 77, which is c.